In SwiftUI, the onAppear modifier is triggered every time a view becomes visible in the UI hierarchy, not just the first time it's created. This includes scenarios like navigating back to a view or when a tab is reselected, which can lead to unintended side effects like duplicate data loading or repeated animations. In this video, you'll learn a simple but effective technique to ensure your onAppear logic runs only once, allowing you to control behavior more precisely and avoid unnecessary work. And if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one call with me, whether you have a bug in your code or you want to just learn SwiftUI, go ahead and check out the link in the description for the mentoring session. So today uh, we are going to talk about um, onAppear and onFirstAppear. Um, we are going to take a look at this example. So uh, I have this demo project right over here on the content view. I have a navigation link. It goes to the destination view uh, and we enwrap all of this inside the navigation stack on the, you know, the content view so we can just navigate. So let me just build and run and show you what it does. Basically, it just goes to the destination view. And uh, what we are going to do on the destination view is we are going to print out on a peer. So uh, yeah, basically that's it. Uh, let's just see uh, that build. Okay, let's just click on go to destination. And as you can see, on a peer was printed. If I go back and navigate to the destination view again, this on a peer is triggered once more. So what do we actually want to achieve over here? Well, I want to trigger something only when the destination view is appearing for the very first time. This could be a fetch on uh, on a server. It could be anything that you see fit that it should be triggered only once when a certain view appears. And this is in our case, the destination view. So what we are going to do is just basically create some sort of an on first appear uh, logic. So for that, we are going to start off by separating uh, a, a certain a toggle inside an observable. So let me just start a new uh, file, new empty file. It will be called on first appear observable. Of course, we need to import Swift UI and then uh, add the macro at observable uh, class and on first appear. I'm just going to remove this observable object. That's kind of the old days. We don't need that. And we want to uh, add in here some sort of a toggle. Like, did the first view, uh, first the destination view uh, appear for the first time or not? So uh, let's just have a var is destination view um, first appear. And of course, uh, this should be uh, forced by uh, default appear just like that. Okay, so uh, Okay, this stores uh, The boolean value and you have to add in all of your booleans right over here And of course by default you set it to false now uh, We want to also toggle it and I'm just going to create here a simple uh, function for that so it could be uh, easier so uh, we want to set this to true whenever an action occurs on the first appear. And also I don't want to have that action being uh, taken when it is true. So let me just write out that function. It will be much uh, clearer uh, that. So um, uh, uh, destination view action, destination view, not did appear, but action, just like that. And I'm going to add in here an action. And that will be, well, we don't need escaping right over here. It's just a simple completion. So if is destination view first appear, it's not. So it's, if it's set to false, then just go through the action. And before that, set it back to, well, set it to uh, true. Okay. And then the action. So let's make this a capital F. So this is the logic. It's really straightforward. Now let's go ahead and implement it uh, inside our destination view. For uh, on first appear observable to be available on the destination view, before that we need to set it up as an environment. So I'm just going to go and set it up as dot environment and then on first appear observable. 
all iOS developers, whether beginners or seasoned professionals, benefit from having a mentor to accelerate growth, avoid common pitfalls, and gain real-world insights that tutorials can't offer. A mentor provides clarity, structure, and personalized feedback that turns confusion into confidence. Through my Zoom mentoring sessions, I offer hands-on guidance tailored to your goals based on years of experience building and shipping iOS apps. You'll leave each session with actionable steps, cleaner code, and a stronger grasp of Swift and Swift UI, so you can build apps faster and smarter. Now we may access it inside our destination view, so let's go over there. And right over here, I'm going to say at state or rather, not the state, because it's already been uh, instantiated. We are going to access it through the environment. So, at environment, uh, on first appear observable dot self, just like that. And uh, let's just make this a private var, uh, observable, or let's just have this uh, on first appear observable. Okay, so now that we have access to it, uh, on the on appear itself, so we are using the same view modifier. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to print out on appear so we can double check that the on appear actually did, uh, was being triggered. And then right over here after it, I'm just going to say on uh, first appear observable dot uh, destination view action, and then I'm just going to do some type of action. So I'm just going to say print and, uh, well, uh, let's just go for first appear, first appear. So uh, this print statement, this action should be uh, uh, made only on the first appearance of our destination view. Let's build and run one final time and let's see how this uh, works. Okay, build has succeeded. Everything is fine. Go to destination, on appear and first appear has been added. And then let's go and tap on it again, on appear. Really, really nice. Now, if you like these types of tutorials, go ahead and check out my mentoring sessions. The link is down in the description.